What's up, guys? What's up, ladies? How's everybody doing? This is Tim again from Test Demi. <coughs> Here, excuse me, live and direct for part two of the video series Test Automation for Absolute Beginners. So, if you're a beginner and you have no experience in test automation, perhaps you're a manual tester trying to get into automation, or perhaps you're a developer that is trying to get into the test automation landscape or space. You're in the right place, so let's get started, all right? So if you guys saw part one, what we try to do is we try to, you know, set up the uh, foundation, talk about what test automation is about, some of the tools to use to get started. Uh, one of the uh, operating, excuse me, the uh, object-oriented programming language we talked about was Python. And in conjunction with downloading Python, we also uh, developed, uh, excuse me, we also downloaded uh, the IDE, uh, which is PyCharm, right, by JetBrains. They're the same people that make IntelliJ uh, that you use for uh, uh, Java programming language is another uh, object-oriented programming language. So JetBrains has what's called PyCharm. We downloaded the Community Edition, which is free. I like free. I like free. I don't know about you. All right, it's so a free open source tool, right? So uh, what I did in the part one, we downloaded Python and PyCharm, but in part two, I'm going to do a little more of configuration to tell you, show you how to get set up uh, using PyCharm, which is, again, the IDE integration development environment. I, I don't mean to repeat myself, but just that sometime you get a reputation of this word so you can begin to talk automation, talk coding, talk uh, uh, Selenium, right? So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to walk through it. Uh, it's going to be a short video, perhaps, walk you through how to get started with uh, PyCharm. Again, one of, my, one of my goals here is not only to get 10,000 manual testers and developers that want to get into test automation, but also kind of get you going with some of the tools that test automation engineers use on a day-to-day -day basis to get them started. Now, PyCharm is one of the tools, and that's what we're going to show. All right, so let's go. Let's go. All right, so let's jump out of this, guys. And I'm going to minimize this. Uh, if you can see, I already have uh, PyCharm installed. Uh, the last video, we talked about uh, how to get it installed. So if, you, if, you, if you're not sure or if this is your first time watching this video, series, go back to part one on this uh, test automation for absolute beginners uh, series and go back and watch, watch that video on how to uh, install PyCharm. All right, we're going to get started here. All right, so just uh, obviously double click where it says uh, JetBrains PyCharm Community Edition. And what they will do is going to bring us with the uh, basic setup uh for the actual uh, application here and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to like i mentioned uh, get some of the very basic configuration getting started right as you can see it says pycharm community edition okay uh, you can configure it you can do a number of things but what i want you guys to do here uh, is pretty simple uh, just do where it uh, says uh create new project because uh some of the the new project we're going to be working on is some python uh foundational concepts around data structures, um, variables, functions, a variety of other foundations when it comes to PyCharm, so, excuse me, Python, so you can be a better uh, automation engineer when we get to the Selenium portion of this. Uh, here's the thing I want you to pay attention to. See, so you see where it says location, right? Uh, so this is the location of where your project is going to be. Uh, so what I want you to do here is I'm going to hit on my Windows. If you're using Windows, uh, follow along. But if you're not using Windows, for example, if you're using Mac or Unix, uh, just follow the shortcuts that might be out there. Or simply just bring up your uh, file explorer here. Uh, and what you can do here is we can see it has... C users, admin, PyCharm, blase, blase. Well, you don't necessarily have to put your project there. What I like to do is, uh, if I go here to Windows, this is just my uh, personal preference, uh, and I go uh, there to under Windows, part. let me go back, and under there, you can just pretty much set up a project here, like under users, right? Uh, you can set up the project, or, all right, let's, let's just do what they're saying here. Let's just keep it simple, right? Uh, so I'm just going to go here. Uh, I'm going to bring up this particular path and I'm going to hit control C for Windows then I'm going to hit Windows E for the shortcut for the Windows Explorer paste it in here it's going to bring it up all right you can see a variety of other uh, projects I already have so we're going to have this um, project here I'm going to say new folder I'm going to call it uh, test automation so we're going to do test automation automation and it's going to be I don't want to call it that let's just do uh, test demi TA. All right. So te as in test, uh, test, de te test demi test automation. Okay. All right. So now if I double click on this, what I can do here is I can just highlight this, do a control C, minimize this on your screen and put it here. So what that's going to do is going to put the location of the new project, which is actually, 
uh, going to be in that folder. And now the most important part, uh, everyone, what you want to do, follow here, is where it says interpreter, right? Python is an interpreter, right? So you use the IDE, which is the Integrated Development Environment, to actually put your Python syntax and code in there. And the interpreter interprets that into computer language uh, or machine language where the actual computer can understand and interpret that code in the Python syntax to something the computer can understand and display it on the screen or actually run the application or program or tool uh, that you have. So the interpreter is so important. And the interpreter is actually uh, Python itself, right? So if you have it here, you can go to where perhaps you have it installed. Uh, it can be local. It can be a virtual one. You want to create a virtual environment. Uh, but in this case, we have that Python executable, which we installed from our uh, part one. So I'm just going to click create. So you want to click create here. And now it's going to go ahead and uh, give you a little tip of the day. Well, it's a good idea to perhaps read these tips so you can get better and be more efficient using PyCharm. But in this case, I'm just going to close it off for the sake of time. I'm going to maximize this. All right. So we scan in the installed packages. Uh, so what you want to do here is you can see where it says test demi TA. And you can see on the project, it already has our project test demi TA, which is test automation. So what you want to do is you want to do a right click, do new. All right. And you want to do a new Python file. So we're going to name the uh, first file. We're just going to say uh, hello world. I know this might be pretty common, but just follow along, please. And just click OK. And what it's going to do is going to create your first uh, uh, uh Python script. So uh, when you see this py uh, file extension, that's py is the Python file extension uh, for Python programming language. Uh, but I don't like this plain screen. It looks kind of boring and uh, uh, honestly, it's not very fancy. I like something a little more stylish. So I want you to go to settings uh, if you want to configure yours a little bit to make it a little more beautiful. Uh, go to editor and we're going to go to uh, under there, you're going to go to color and font and see we're on the default. You can uh, click. I like to pick Monakai. You can pick anyone you want. And that's going to change. That should change the look and feel of our interpreter. As you can see, uh, pardon me there. And you're going to say, it looks like you have a set of dark editor scene. Would you like to set dark theme for? Yeah, that's fine. All right. So I like the Monakai. All right. So you can see, okay. And this just makes it a little more, uh, gives it a little more flavor. Actually, I'm also going to change a few more things here. Uh, pardon me. I just want to kind of get my environment the way it's set up, the way I love it. Uh, so feel free to do for yours uh, also the way you like. And under color and font. And now if I go to uh, appearance, uh, you can go to appearance here. Uh, I also like to put my IntelliJ. Uh, let's see what is here. In the system settings. No, let's go to general. Uh, let's see console. So the variety of other options you can put here. Normally it's under the color and fonts uh, that you want to uh, primary font. I'm going to see here. It shows you the different options, right? On how you want them to look. Whatever you want, you want to go with. Uh, you know, it's personally up to you. Uh, just do whatever you're comfortable with. All right. And you can see the general uh, Monokai. It shows the different uh schemes that you can go with again we're going to just go with monokai uh, apply and okay and don't show me ask me this anymore all right so what we're going to do is uh we're in pycharm so i'm going to type in a simple command and that's going to be uh, i'm going to do print uh you can see it starts filling it out for me i'm going to do print and like we did last time uh we're going to say welcome i'm going to try something different we're going to say welcome to uh, this is a string but just type along to follow welcome to uh test demi Test Demi Automation Course. Let's do test test automation course. Okay. So you type that in. That's your first code uh, you've put in. Again, this is just a print function uh, with a string to run it. But what I want to show you here as far as the setup, if it's your first time, you can do a number of things, right? You can either right click where it says hello world here right and click run it's going to run your program you can see it at the bottom it shows the interpreter you can see uh here where it says welcome to test demi test automation course uh so that is the actual uh interpreter outputting uh the print function that we actually gave the computer to uh run uh you can see where your python is stored here 
uh, the executable that's running it, all right, because we selected use path, so we don't have to do any extra configuration. But what I want to show you guys a little neat trick that as a professional uh, automation developer you want to get to is you go to view, go to tools, windows, and click where it says terminal, right? So from here, as opposed to doing, uh, you know, right click here and run, uh, I just feel it's tedious. What you can do here is if you come to this path, right, where we uh, set up our PyCharm project under, in my case, it was user admin PyCharm project and test demi underscore TA. TA stands for uh, test automation. Now, what I like to do is if you run a command here, DIR for Windows, uh, but if you're in Linux, I believe you want to uh, run the LS command as in Lima, Sierra. So it's going to list the directories or the files under that particular uh, file structure. In this case, on Windows, I'm going to click DIR. It shows, all, shows us our files. Um, and if you notice here, uh, we have our hello world.py file. So if you want to run that, what you want to do is you want to type Python, all right? So you can notice the Python uh, interpreter. And you want to type Python. If I type HE and hit tab, uh, hit tab here, it's going to fill that out for me, right? That's just a little short tip to kind of get you going as a shortcut. So what you want to do is hit enter, and it's going to do the same thing. You notice that here? In the lower left-hand corner, it says, Welcome to Test Demi uh, Automation Course. And if you want to repeat the commands you've already run, what you can do is just hit the up arrow or down arrow right here, and it just kind of scrolls through your commands. And again, it brought up Python, Hello World, that PY. And we're pretty much set. So just want to do this uh, quick walkthrough. Again, it's a very basic setup to get you started. There are a lot of great things we can do with PyCharm uh, to take you to the next level. But we want to take it easy. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, hey. all right, really, <laughs> baby steps, right, kind of get you going, but hopefully you uh, got something out of this, if you did, please leave some comments below, but we're going to go to the next level, we're going to learn some great things about Python, a powerful, powerful object oriented programming language, and going to use it as the foundation, if you will, I call it the iceberg of test automation you're going to be great i right, see you soon in the next video till then subscribe here on our youtube channel and also check us out at testdemi.com for free videos take you to the next level peace see y'all soon holla